Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video today. I'll be showing you guys the best settings and changes to improvise your gameplay and performance in Valorant. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, I have a small request. I've seen that 98% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel so consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon. Let's hit 50k subscribers ASAP and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, let's move stepwise. Step number one is creating a restore point, and it is really simple step. Press your Windows key and then type in create a restore point. Then scroll down and select your local disk C. Then click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it Valorant FPS Boost. This is just a failsafe method to prevent anything going wrong while making changes into your PC. Before moving ahead, I wanna talk about this video's sponsor, CrosshairX, one of the best application out for custom community made crosshairs. CrosshairX offers you hundreds and thousands of custom crosshairs to boost your in-game experience and performance. Just open CrosshairX and start choosing your ideal one right away. This app has a user-friendly interface and crosshair changes in a single click. It offers you featured and random community-made crosshairs which are really helpful in-game. CrosshairX is compatible with almost all FPS games. Simply go to your game settings and disable crosshair, then press Alt, Shift and Z to hide or unhide your crosshair on the go. It also offers you to design your own custom crosshair with dozens of options. Simply click the link in the description below and check out Crosshair X on Steam. Alright, step number two is downloading the Valorant FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this pack in the description below and it's really simple to download. Once you've downloaded this pack, extract it in a folder and you'll see in three folders in here. The first one says registry optimization, second one is for Valorant config files and third is programs. Open up the first folder and then you'll find in a lot of registry files in here. All you have to do is right click and merge all of these registry files. They have their specific functions. The first one optimizes your full screen. Second one disables GPU energy driver. Third one disables power throttling. Fourth one disables transparency. Fifth one disables Xbox services. And the last one is for Windows 32 priority separation. Then go to the second folder and in here you'll find in a lot of config files. This one is the default config file. If anything goes wrong, you guys can exchange it. If you have an ultra low end PC without graphics card, you have to open this folder up. If you have a low end PC with minimal graphics card, you can use low end PC folder. And if you have a good PC with at least GTX series graphics card, you guys can use medium PC folder. So. Um, just for reference, I'm gonna be using the ultra low end PC and in here you'll find your game user settings.ini. Press your windows and R together and search for app data. Then in here, go to local and then search for Valorant. Over here, go to saved and then go to config and then click on date modified. Now, over here, you'll find your recently modified file. As you guys can see, this one is the recently modified file. Just open it up, go to Windows, and then in here you'll find your game user settings.ini. All you have to do is copy this settings into this folder. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna throw it in this, and then I'm gonna take it and throw it in here. Now these are the best configurations for your game. Now minimize this folder and then let's move back to third programs. Now go to the third folder which says programs and in here you'll find in only two programs this time. I kept it simple. The first one is MSI Utility V3 and the second one is Unpark CPU Cores. Open up the first folder and then open up this program as administrator. Now over here you need to search for your graphics card and click on undefine and then select high. Then click on apply and then close it. Then open up the second folder and then open up the second program. Now over here for your system plan, go for high performance and then for the part, go 100% unpark, then click on unpark all and then apply. Then close this program as well. And that's how you're done with the second step. Now step number three is enabling the game mode and it's very simple. Press your windows key and then search for game mode settings. Now over here, make sure that game mode is turned on. Then go to graphic settings over here. 
Then make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Then click on browse and go to the download location of Valorant. Now I have added Valorant over here. Just go to options and then click on high performance. If you don't know how to find your Valorant, right click on your Valorant logo and then go to file location. This is your directory of game. In here you'll find valorant.exe. You need to add this one. Next step is disk cleanup. And for that, press your windows key and then search for disk cleanup. Then select your local disk C and then click on OK. Now over here you'll see a lot of files. Just select your recycle bin, DirectX shader cache, and then the delivery optimization files. Also your temporary files, and then click on OK and then click on delete files. Now let it take its time. Now, once the disk cleanup is done, search for adjust the appearance of windows. Now, over here, select adjust for best performance and then select show thumbnail instead of icons and then save taskbar thumbnail previews and then click on apply. Next step is disabling the full screen optimizations and for that, right click on your Valorant, then go to properties. Now over here, go to compatibility and then make sure to disable full screen optimization. Also click on select high GPI changes, override high GPI behavior, OK, apply and OK. Alright last but not the least is exit lag and I refer exit lag because it is pros choice to eliminate lag and get better ping. Exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from and it also offers you Valorant. All you have to do is download exit lag from the link in the description below. Exit lag is free to use for 3 days. Once you click the link in the description below, you will be taken to this website. Now you have to click on free 3 days trial and download exit lag's latest version from here. Now once you are in exit lag, just search for Valorant and then open it up. Also select two of these options and then click on apply routes. The best part of exit lag is that it offers you the in app tools to get better FPS. Now in the general settings, select the first and the last two options and all of these options. Then go to FPS boost, enable the first, third, fourth and the last two options. And these are the best exit lag settings. Alright I wanna let you guys know that exit lag is a free to use application for 3 days and after that you need to buy a subscription. But if this is your first time, you guys can use code BEARFOX20 while checkout for flat 20% off on any of the subscription. So choose wisely. Now minimize exit lag and then open up Valorant and let's perform the in-game settings. Alright, once you are in-game, go to your settings. And then over here, go to video settings. And then in general, I highly recommend you guys to play on full screen or windowed full screen mode if you are using Crosshair X. Also, I recommend you guys to play on the highest resolution possible on your monitor. Then scroll down for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency and then select On Plus Boost. Then go to Graphics Quality and copy all of these settings. So that was it for today's video guys. I hope it helps you. Comment down below if that helped you or not. And if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing since we are really close to 50k. I believe in you all and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.